So a couple weeks back, I, I made this Victorian house behind me, and yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, and I still haven't furnished the interior. I know I said I would in the in the next video after I published it, but I definitely did not do that. And, and to make matters worse, I, I'm actually recording this after uh, my power went out, and in that footage, I did like all of this stuff in the bottom right L-shaped thing uh, that I'm going over with my mouse with. Yeah, that... that <laughs> Man, I lost so much footage. But um, yeah, to make it up to you, I'll, I'll just go through whatever I've made in, in the most detail that I, I can possibly explain. But the outside here, I haven't really changed much. It's just like some extra gardening and some more dirt. So yeah, it just it just goes around the entire home. For the interior, I've basically done some of the decoration on the inside, uh, or most of it on the first floor at least. This back room's not done, and then this bathroom this bathroom's not done either. But yeah, I'll just go through whatever there is in this house for now so stepping in you have your stairwell this is all custom it's just a bunch of basic shapes and then uh, a structural put over top of that and then over here is just another custom staircase thing and then uh this is just a little table uh placemat and then this is actually a wall lamp i just put it like further down into the table so it looks like it sat on the table and then there's a mirror behind that but that's pretty much it for the entrance and then this is where i left off before my power cut out uh i was working on the office and i was talking about Vic Victor's Victorian chair and Victor's Victorian table and whatever else Victor owns and then it just went on me uh so yeah those their bookcases behind that and then it's just a this table copy and copied and pasted from over here and then over here the kitchen i've actually put a lot of effort and detail into this well not a lot of effort I'm, I'm not gonna lie just a lot of detail and then i was explaining why i use the craftsman uh furniture pieces it's because like they have the rectangular cutout stuff or like the etchings uh so that re looks really nice in a, in a victorian home or that's what i've seen on pinterest so this is pretty much it for the kitchen nice and simple and then over here is probably what i've spent most of my time on and it's a living room back here is just more uh what do you call these craftsman cabinets you can open them oh i did not mean to take a book yeah you can open them whatever i'm not gonna open them uh but over here i used victor's victorian um uh, furniture once again so there's a coffee table his couches and over here i actually decided not to use a victorian fireplace i know they exist but like you can't change the color of the flame so i tried putting it earlier before my footage got lost in the power cutout but yeah i tried recoloring it and it was just like a really bright yellow so I, I ended up using this one instead though these are the same bookcases and I used basic shapes to make it flush with the wall and then I've also used some extra boxes and books and and this little lamp just so I could use it and then back here this was the this was the quickest thing I did it was the dining room because I, I really have no idea if I'm gonna keep this or not because it's like really cramped back here but at the same time I really want to use the table and there's just no other space that I could really put a dining room I mean right here would work but like at the same time it's kind of far from the kitchen so might as well not and this is really nice it's, it, it like peers off into the into the open with a bunch of glass doors so I might just keep that there honestly on the second floor nothing much has changed i mean i did get into it a little there's that table again but i've just added this wall trim around the entire build i feel like it matches the victorian -y vibe that's not a word again oh god but yeah uh also if you don't know how to do this wall trim it's it's the it's the it's two wall trims in one uh and i'm sure you can find that in the wall trim section but anyways back to working on whatever i was doing in the first half uh before i got freaking nuked uh so far the home cost 181k i honestly have no idea how that got to that price probably the wind oh i did not mean to go with the main menu yeah but as i was saying as i wanted to check the plot data it, it is currently at 9.3 percent and i have no idea if uh this is gonna cost way over 500k because it's it's beginning to look like that but i don't think it'll happen anyways back to working on i think it was the office yes we left off at the office with the two bookshelves and obviously you wouldn't know this because it got freaking deleted stupid power outages anyways i'm just gonna keep decorating this and hopefully it's turns out nice in the end i'm trying to go for like a vintage style thing uh because i don't know what victorian is like uh i, I know it's colorful one of you guys mentioned it was colorful but i forgot who it was but I'll, tr I'll try to make this colorful i don't know how colorful i can really make it though so <laughs> sorry if i don't live up to your expectations and obviously i'll find probably some of the worst ways to make the smallest homes look super cluttered and cramped okay so here's the office i've just added a, a little more detail to to 
the things I've already had. So basically a stack of books on the desk and then some plants on it as well and the books on the floor. And then I've also dragged this chair over from the living room. Oh yeah, and then back here I've, I've put like a closet thing, but it's not really using all of the space. So probably not the best way to do it, but it is what it is. Alrighty, so with that done, I'm just gonna put some extra detail on these on the staircase because I feel like paintings would look really nice here. Just maybe better oriented. Yeah, there we go. They, they go up with the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys seeing the vision? I'm seeing the vision. All right, whatever. I guess we could start working on our first bathroom of the build. And you know, once I get one bathroom done, <laughs> It's over for the rest of the build. I'm just gonna copy and paste it throughout the entire build. But for this bathroom, I kind of want to go with a really luxurious feel. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how I'm gonna really do that. But, uh, you know, just YOLO it. That's usually how we do things around here. I don't know how Victorian I'm gonna make this. I, I, could, I could try doing something really cool. But, like, do I want to try doing something really cool? I mean, I'm already starting, so <laughs> might as well finish. My worst fear is having the uh, power cut out again. And I really don't want that to happen happen because I'm, I'm gonna spend so much time working on this you know i'm actually gonna save this recording and <laughs> i'm gonna start again just so i have some footage at least all right sick we're back and if we're not back um yeah there, there's gonna be some stuff <laughs> going on so right here i'm making a radiator thing it's, it's kind of unnecessary but i, I want to do it so like why not or we could just leave it as like some kind of bar to to cover the window you know so people can have some privacy in the washroom you know that's actually not a bad idea what the heck goes in a in a Victorian bathroom. I, I'm kind of confused, actually. What What is a Victorian bathroom? I mean, I guess the first thing that comes to mind is probably a bathtub, but I really don't want to put a bathtub here, just because it's like the first floor bathroom and we really don't need one. But at the same time, might as well YOLO it. I'm joking, by the way, we're not putting a bathtub in there. I want to fill up this wall somehow, but I have, I, I, don't, I don't know what I want to put there. I think I'll just slap a plant in here for <laughs> who knows why. And we might come back to that, honestly, because I, 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 don't, I don't know how I want to go about doing that just yet at least victor's victorian bathroom nice and simple maybe we could get a couple of paintings in here because paintings are cool let's drag coeptus and noob in here and then maybe we could get some like towels yeah i feel like towels would look pretty nice on on this wall right here and then maybe we could also put some like cleaning accessories underneath or first of all we gotta get a towel in here somewhere maybe on the oh, I, I, don't, I don't know where i want to place a towel man <laughs> i guess in that corner works whatever and then we can head into the decorate section and go to the bathroom tab and i guess we could just look for a bunch of random stuff and and see if it fits in in the in the room like maybe a bar of soap would work and then a soap dispenser as well maybe just like toilet paper on the ground why not <laughs> i feel like that's not the most sanitary thing you could do but like we're gonna include that there anyways uh maybe a plunger at the back because these toilets always get you know clogged up and i guess that does it for for the bathroom where am i oh yeah i guess that does it for the bathroom maybe Maybe we could go into the household section and just get like the cleaning equipment in here. Yeah, that, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Okie dokie, and there's our bathroom. Okay, maybe I'll move the cleaning supplies over to here. All right, now for the last room on the first floor, it's this room, and I have no idea what I really want to put here, but actually a thought just came to mind. You know that thing that I usually do with the piano? Yeah, I, I, I know what you, I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but you know what? Hear me out. It's gonna look a little scuffed on the outside, like back here specifically, but it's okay. Nobody literally nobody sees this part of the house so why even bother we're gonna take a basic shape and then we're gonna take a piano and we're also gonna stuff that piano inside the basic shape and this is where what i mean by um uh, it gets a little scuffed on the outside so what we can do back here is use uh, a, a couple of crates just to cover it up literally nobody will know that this is even here i mean you guys know because you guys are watching the video but like nobody else knows so yeah we're gonna put some crates back there just to make sure nobody can see it just color those linen and then, yeah, there we go. Piano. It's like a it's like a piano in the wall. I want to know if I can use craftsman cabinets here instead. Maybe those will look better. Um, Probably not. Let's just go back with the wall then. And now it's time to decorate the heck out of this section. See, I wish you could put books on top of the piano. I mean, you can. You just got to use some like basic shape hack. Or not basic shape hacks even. It, it's just like a couple of shelf shelving units. You can literally submerge this into the piano and then color that and nobody will will notice at all see 
Look sick. I don't know if you guys can hear the sirens outside, but uh, uh, <laughs> a fire truck or, or a police car or an ambulance pass passes by here every like five minutes. And that's one of the downsides of living in Toronto, at least. Whatever, whatever. I feel like one thing that's really cool that they added is the covered, um, covered, what, what do you call them? Covered armchairs or co covered Victorian furniture? I don't know. I, I feel like it's, it's perfect for whatever Victorian stands for. Like whenever you think of Victorian, you think of old and, and dusty and crusty and just and then th this is perfect for that absolutely amazing all right now we get some wall trim i don't know if i'm gonna make this room blue uh i really don't know what matches with a piano <laughs> So I'm just going to leave it as this for now. And we can come back to coloring later. I just don't want to make it super, super cluttered. But at the same time, why not? Like this corner looks empty. That corner looks empty. Maybe we could get a radiator in. Like these are just nice to have, but like they literally do nothing. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm just going to leave it as is because I, I, I don't know how else I want to furnish this. Anyways, with that, I guess we could move up onto the second floor. And the second floor is kind of already done. So this is what I would have already added. I've added a cabinet right here just to block off the this one by one area and then in this little nook and cranny since this is a really hard shape to work with i've added these two walls so that way it's a little easier to work with but obviously you could change it it's just that like this roof is impeding and it's just really hard to do anything so yeah that that's my reasoning for this one by one area and then i've just put a random chair in the middle because you know why not i felt like it fit and there's not much i can really do for this corridor it, it's literally a one by one corridor so i can't i can't really add much stuff without obstructing a bunch of space so i'm just gonna leave it the way you guys see it for now but one thing i can do is add paintings all along here like the old vintage paintings that would probably fit there and then i don't know for this wall i i, I it's just a large wall <laughs> like what am i supposed to do maybe i could use just like a couple openings whatever this will do this will do this will do i mean i guess maybe you could put a painting in here but like i hate putting paintings in here because you just can't <laughs> like what is the point of an opening it's it's just here for for shape anyways we're gonna leave that like that and then we're basically down to our last five rooms if i can count one two three four five yes and we're gonna start with the bedroom over here because i have i have an idea for what i want to do we're gonna keep the old vintage style thing going and i kind of want to make a bed frame so what i mean by bed frame is like these ones but obviously i, I can make something better see when they went ahead with the victorian update items they should have done uh, a couple more other things but then again if they're like too many good update items then the, you lose creativity so whatever i'm not complaining i'm like so paranoid by whatever happened earlier with the power i'm just like restarting a bunch of recordings obviously you guys don't see this but like i'm restarting a bunch of recordings and I'll, I'll just have to put them all together later once again if you're trying to rebuild this you probably need all of the game passes but then again what what kind of build is it if i don't use all the game passes i feel like it's kind of implied at this point <laughs> actually i'm fairly certain that you could um resize your i mean reposition your pillows even without the game pass don't take my word for that. I'm gonna go so crazy with this bed. Holy heck. <laughs> In all the right ways, obviously. You know, it's really taken me a second to un understand how large this chair is. Like, if I try to put it anywhere here, it just won't fit. It's, it's just so massive. It, it's wide. Anyways, let's continue to build. We're gonna use a bunch of these Victorian um, furniture items in the bedroom, actually. One thing I'm not gonna use is the Victorian lamp, because I, I, I just, it just doesn't match. I mean, it kind of matches, but like, there's this fancy lamp that looks better one day guys i promise i will be doing a uh, no copy and paste challenge and that is definitely not gonna go well <laughs> so be ready for that and i'm gonna try to make it a big house but i, I don't think i'll make it too look too too large because then that's actually impossible for me because my whole vibe is copy and paste oh yeah we're not using that chair here by the way i'm not gonna lie i have no idea how i want to decorate this bedroom any further i think maybe whipping out a bunch of paintings is, is the best way to go about it because I, I don't know how to decorate a victorian home i mean i guess that's a part of stepping out of your comfort zone so might as well oh my gosh you know what one thing i should have added was like an attic but like that's way too much work as you can see <laughs> like the roof is already complicated as is but if i added an attic oh my god that would make the, the entire build look so much more insane maybe one day if i if i build like my dream house i'll, I'll try so hard on that why can't i place this here oh yeah we screw the openings screw the openings we don't need them oh yeah i forgot they added like these wardrobes and whatnot to 
to the game. I don't think they're Victorian furniture items, but you know, they're fancy enough, so we, we, we can use them. Oh yeah, they also added a kid's royal wardrobe, but we're definitely not gonna use that. Man, this place is already as cl Man, this place is already so cluttered. I, I don't know why I'm adding more things. <laughs> and since I'm late to the update, I have no idea what else is new. Like, some of the things, I might call them new, but like, I, they're they're not actually new. Okay, the bedroom's not looking too bad. It's it's really decorated, actually. I just have no idea what, I, what I'm gonna do for this nook and cranny. Like, what exactly goes in this corner, aside from like, maybe a random chair that I could definitely just copy and paste over here. Like, I mean, it works. It's just like, really creepy having a random chair in the corner. <laughs> but I guess that matches the Victorian vibe, so <laughs> why not? We're gonna leave the chair there. It looks creepy. Maybe an ottoman as well. And I guess that does it for, for the bedroom. And, and all I have to do is just copy and paste it all to the other bedroom. And that should be it. Obviously, when I go in to do like the final details and painting, it's it's gonna change the build. Like, I'm telling you right now, this it's not gonna look the same in the end because I, I can't paint, number one. Once you add details, once you add decals and just like extra, extra realistic stuff, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It just makes the, the build completely different. I'm getting the feeling that I'm missing something very, very important, like a room or something because I always mess, I always leave a room like <laughs> undone or not undone, just like I'm just missing a room. I can't put my finger on it, but I, I, I know it's there. I know it's there. It's, it's one of the rooms. Oh yeah, one thing you could do with your lights, like if you want to add a light, obviously, and you don't want it being too bright and messing up the rest of your lighting that you have, uh, all you have to do is make it flint and it basically doesn't change anything. It just makes it lighter. I swear, I've gone looking through Pinterest so many times just to just to look for some inspiration for a bedroom, but I, I haven't found anything. Oh yeah, I was gonna put a mirror somewhere. I just didn't end up doing that, so I'm gonna do that now. I guess a fancy mirror could go here, right next to the wardrobe. And then maybe we could add some uh, maquillage or makeup. Oh, and maybe we could add some like maquillage makeup. There we go. Yeah, two bedrooms, perfectly sized, definitely not cluttered to the max. Man, but when you think of Victoria, Victorian and vintage. It's just, it's just like cluttered stuff. A bunch of unopened boxes and dust and cloth. So I, I, I guess I've mastered that here, kind of, maybe. <laughs> All right, whatever. We're gonna move on to the last three rooms, and the, this is a bedroom, closet, and oh wait, no, I said bedroom. Shoot, this is a bathroom and closet. And since we've already done a bathroom on the first floor, we could just basically copy and paste everything from down there. But obviously there are gonna be some different things. Like I'm gonna add a bathtub here. All right, so here's one bathroom done. Very. <laughs> it doesn't have much stuff, but like it makes it look Victorian in a way. Just gonna go around with some more wall trim to make it look more fancy. And, and then we're just gonna do the same for this room over here. And I, I guess that completes most of the Victorian home. Felt, felt like a short video, but that's because like half the footage was gone. It's the first time I've experienced this. And I guess this is dorm life. Can't do anything about it, whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. For the second bathroom, we're just basically gonna copy everything that we have on the first floor and move it up to the second. And we could add add a shower in here but i kind of want to add another bathtub so like extra stuff maybe yeah whatever screw it i'm, I'm adding a bathtub I, I i don't care i'm gonna put it diagonal too hmm bathtub so nice Alrighty, and i guess that does it for the entire victorian home i guess all that's left to do is paint it and uh god who knows how long that's gonna take i'm also probably gonna add some extra detailing on the outside just to make it look super 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 nice but yeah that's pretty much it hold on let me just take a tour of it before it's painted and then we can we can take a look at it right after oh yeah oh yeah this is this is giving um this is giving victorian especially the piano holy heck look at this oh yeah this bathroom this bathroom is nice why why is everything uh kind of pinkish i i swear i did not pink it pinkify anything oh it might have been one of the lamps upstairs it's, it's like linen colored oh yeah oh yeah this 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 is cluttered this is cluttered beyond belief oh yeah this is nice this is nice this is nice this is this is what this is what i meant to do look at how beautiful this is all right time to do the coloring and then we can take a full tour of the finished Victorian home. Right now it costs um, 268k, which is just a bit over the budget, but it, it, it's all right. It's all right.
I so so this is what I got done after I finished coloring and detailing everything. God, I I, I hate coloring, man. I, I can't do it. It's too much work and it's too hard, but whatever. Ignore the giant sidewalk that's striking through this uh uh path that that leads to the house. I'm actually just going to delete that real quick. This was just for like, you know, sidewalk purposes. Uh but anyways, yeah, this is our house. This is the final uh version of the Victorian home. I actually wish I put a bit more time into it. Anyways, this is the outside of the house. Very nice and detailed at the front at least. Uh, around to the back, it's not as detailed as the front, but still it's got it's got the stuff. It's also kind of laggy because I've got I've got a bunch of other people in the server. Ooh, nice houses, I guess. Unfinished, but yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the outside of the house. Let's head on inside. Oh yeah, these are decal trees. I never usually do decal trees because they take too much money and time, but eh, they're coming along. I feel like I could have done them a bit better. This side's not covered, but <laughs> it's whatever. I've also added some bushes here with the decals, but aside from that, nothing much has really changed. All right, let's head on inside. Oh yeah, the porch has a nice chair for you to sit on, and stepping inside, we have another miscolored roof. All right, let's try that again. Stepping inside, we have our nice uh main foyer or main hallway, whatever, with the staircase and a nice curvy thing uh, going on with the railing. Uh, we have a table off to the right and then a mirror, and that pretty much finishes it for the, the main entrance. We've also got this light fixture going on here uh i don't know i kind of liked it everything goes up diagonally with the stairs as you can see with these paintings as well on to the left side of the house we have our office for victor that victor is just because the name of the victorian stuff is is victor's victorian stuff I, I don't know if that makes sense but yeah that's what it's called so yeah here's the office nice and detailed with a bunch of books a lamp in the corner and then no 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 electronics because you know old stuff victorian i mean we have a phone but like that's kind of expected and then over here we have a uh closet and it only opens one side anyways over on our right side we have our kitchen i don't know if i should have went with blue but i went with blue anyways nice and detailed with a bunch of antique plates or i, I call them antique but they're just like normal plates we got a sink a stove a fridge and pretty much all the kitchen space you really need it's probably one of my best laid out kitchens especially with this like uh uh sitting thing i actually don't know what this is um i think you can delete that i think this was just a mistake but yeah nice window peering off into uh an unfinished house and then behind that we have the living room nicely decorated to fit the victorian vibe i even put like the decals on the walls to, to for the wallpaper so that was a nice touch i i put the lamp here and a bunch of other victorian furniture and at the back there's a giant wall with a bunch of storage and books once again i didn't use the victorian fireplace because you know you can't color the flame for that so i just used this one instead I mean, it's good enough. It, it, lo it looks about right. Uh, but anyways, stepping all the way to the back, we have our little dining room fit for six people, but it's probably not a room for six people because it's so small. Just a little extra clutter back here with a table and then an easel uh, and then a vase on the ground. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the dining room. It looks pretty good from this angle. And then looping all the way back to the front entrance, we have a little room for a giant black piano. No black and yellow piano, unfortunately, because I kind of wanted to go serious on this. And then I also chose to to add this covered piece of furniture I, I i don't know what it's supposed to be doing here but like it's just here so yeah there's that and then all the way back here we have our little bathroom bathroom's very plain it's literally just a bathroom hi youtube and uh no other detail really i mean i put toilet paper if you count that as detail but <laughs> it's basically copied and pasted throughout the house anyways let's head on upstairs and see what we've got going on we have just a little one by one uh corridor going on here with a a nice nook and cranny with a chair i have no idea what this is really for but like i just put it there because i couldn't find a way to fill up space but on to our left side we have our first bedroom nice and red with a giant bed and then you can see a bunch of other stuff that's just been copied and pasted throughout the house but like we ignore that i mean we use this fancy furniture closet thing that that's it that's a change and and this too but yeah that's pretty much it for the bedroom and then if we walk over to the other side we have another bathroom it's pretty much everything just copied and pasted up here we've got a bathtub here so that's something that's different from the first floor you'll also see that some things aren't colored and i think that's because it's just not loading i i've seen this tree and, and, and it still hasn't loaded but i'm pretty sure i did color that so that that's just a glitch in the game you see this towel is also not colored but whatever anyways moving on to uh how did you get 
there. Moving on to the next room over, we have a master bedroom, but like the master master bedroom and the other bedroom are like pretty much the same. But there's just a bit more detail in this one. There we've got like the wall lamps and we've got a mirror and uh, whatnot. It's just bigger and it has a bathroom over here. And the, this is the largest bathroom in the house. It's it's literally this just the same as every other bathroom, just like different colored. How are people getting on my roof? <laughs> Anyways, we've got a toilet in the corner, nice radiator, mirror, and then bathtub. And then you have a sink. Oh wait, did I forget a sink in the other bathrooms? Ah, no I didn't. I put them on counter. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the house. I don't think I toured the backyard, but these open up onto uh, a backyard porch. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the entire house. Yeah, I probably could have done a lot more with this, but I just didn't because like, you know, I'm faulty.